Good day to everyone and welcome to my catechetical vlog. Today's topic is formation and the spiritual life. In our lifetime, all of us make investments. We invest an education for our children so they will have a good future. We invest on properties like a house, a car, or a piece of land. We invest on the stock market or on our retirement fund for our future. In investing anything, we make sure that that thing is very important to us. And in investing on that thing, three things are required. Our time, energy, and resources. Now let us apply this concept of investing in our spiritual life. First of all, we should be truly convinced that our spiritual life is very important to us before we can even start on investing on it. So first you need to ask the question, how important is my spiritual life to me? Or how important is God in my life? How important is my Catholic faith and practices to me? How important is the salvation of my soul? Then if you finally figured out that these things are really important to you, then you can start considering and investing your time, energy, and resources in your spiritual life. Now, the next question is, how can we invest in our spiritual life? And for me, the answer is the term formation. The word formation was first introduced to me when I entered religious life with the Franciscan Capuchins and when I entered the seminary. The seminary is the place for formation for future priests. According to vocabulary.com, the word seminary comes from the Latin word seminarium, which means plant nursery. Like a greenhouse that provides the ideal conditions for seeds to grow properly, the seminary is also a breeding ground that provides the seminarians ideal conditions or formation to become good and holy priests. The formation program in the seminary is based on John Paul II's apostolic exhortation entitled Pastores Dabo Vobis, which means, I will give you shepherds after my own heart, from Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. Here John Paul comes up with the four pillars of formation namely spiritual, intellectual, human, and pastoral formations. These pillars are likened to the legs of a table or a chair, wherein when one is missing, the table or chair becomes unbalanced and collapses. Likewise, a seminarian who neglects any one of these areas of formation will also become unbalanced and will fall down. A short description of these pillars is as follows. First, spiritual formation is centered on prayer. It includes the different treasury of prayers and prayer methods or practices in our Catholic tradition. It also includes the practice of spiritual direction. Second, intellectual formation is basically learning our Catholic faith. Spiritual and intellectual formations are very much tied together because of the fact that our knowledge about God affects how we pray and how we pray affects our way of believing. This comes from the Latin phrase lex orandi, lex credenti. Third, human formation is basically how to be a human person. It involves good behavior like learning social etiquettes, it involves the importance of taking care of our health, our well-being, the development of virtues, and even as trivial as the importance of taking vacations and how to relax and enjoy life. And fourth, pastoral formation is sharing yourself, your service through ministry. When I came to know about these four pillars of formation, I asked myself, why didn't I come to know about this earlier in my life. And being a priest now, I'm realizing that these four pillars of formation can also be applicable 
to you, the lay people. In other words, these four pillars of formation can be adapted in your context as a lay person. So it is then my purpose that my catechetical vlogs will give you these four pillars of formation so that you can grow in your spiritual life, so you can grow as a holy and excellent Catholic Christian. I hope that you will then join me in my future vlogs to be able to avail of the knowledge of these areas of formation and so that you can apply them in your own state and circumstances. Now let us go to a serious matter. The question we need to ask now is, are you willing to undergo spiritual, intellectual, human, and pastoral formations? And please do remember that this will require the investment of your time, energy, and resources. After watching this vlog, it would be nice to reflect upon your life and ask, in the past years or decades of my life, what have I done or what have I invested in my spiritual, intellectual, human, and pastoral formations? I hope to see you in my next vlogs as we go about your formation. Thank you.